Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I am going to be doing my nails. I remembered last night that I did not make an intro but in this video I'm doing some Gel X nails. These are just brown nails and I have some white detailing all throughout. It took me about an hour and a half and I was in a rush. I was not, I didn't have my usual two hours to spare, three hours to spare but I think they came out pretty good for an hour and a half and trust me guys, if you feel like you don't know how to do your nails right now, give it like two or three tries and by that last try, you're gonna be so much better and it's gonna be so worth it. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. Guys, it is three in the morning right now while I'm doing this voiceover, so please be patient with me. But right now, wrapping our nails, this includes pushing down your cuticle, filing your nails, and cutting your nails and all of that. <laughs> tips i like to use these almond shaped ones i really love the almond shape right now and i feel like it's really in for the fall time you want to make sure you're sizing them correctly make sure they fit on your entire nail no overlapping no not th nothing too small or anything like that make sure it fits if you have to file it down on the sides go ahead and do that <laughs> called etching I talk about it in all of my videos but I just go in with a drill and I go all over the part that's gonna actually be against my real nail this will make the nail stay longer and actually reach that three week mark It's time to apply the nail tips. You want to apply a very thin coat to each one of your nails and then you want to cure that for about 30 seconds. And then after that right here I'm just prepping my gooseneck lamp and I'm going to grab one of these nails and then show you the process. You want to apply a very thin coat all over and then a little bit more on the bottom like this. And then you want to apply your nail at a 40 degree angle and right when it hits your nail, put it under the gooseneck clamp and leave it on there for like 10 seconds. I want to show you the rest of the process for all of the nails just to show you how it's done.
you get done applying your Gelix tips, you want to make sure that you cure your entire hands with a big lamp. The gooseneck lamp is not enough. If you just do it with the gooseneck lamp, it will not last as long. Now it's time to actually prep the Gelix tips. I like to do this part just because I like to make them a lot more smooth. I also like to blend in the Gelix tip onto my nail to have that very seamless look. And I feel like this part really makes them last a lot longer as well. Design. I'm going to start off by applying a base coat to each one and curing that under the lamp for a few seconds. This is B832 by Beatles. You want to make sure you apply two coats of the color. So you would apply a coat and then you'd cure it for 30 seconds and then apply another coat and cure it for another 30 seconds. I did decide to apply these stickers. There's little leaves on here, so I decided to choose the leaves. So to apply these stickers, you want to make sure you do it before you apply your top coat. The top coat will actually seal them in and you'll actually want to cure the entire thing. You see right here, I'm applying a top coat on top of the stickers and then I'm going to cure it and that will actually make the stickers last and the color last as well. your hands after this. That is all for this video. Hope you guys enjoy these nails and I'll see you next time.